When trying to maintain proper tooling configurations for efficient rough and rest rough of machining, tooling and machine interferences can be a common problem. Resolving these issues can require additional programming time through trial and error or through the need to create multiple toolpaths to machine an area. The dynamic machine control functionality in Autodesk PowerMill can now be used to help when modifying model area clearance roughing and rest roughing toolpaths when using hemispherical cutting tools to avoid tool interference or machine collisions. Let's take a look at this rest roughing toolpath and see how dynamic machine control can be applied to resolve interference issues. In the initial calculation of the toolpath, we've intentionally switched the collision checking off. If we run the toolpath simulation, we can see that there is a collision between the holder and the finished CAD model. This is due to the 75mm tool overhang being used. To resolve this, the tool axis could be adjusted to increase the clearance. But looking at this part, we will see that the different areas require different angles, which will require the creation of multiple tool paths. With the addition of dynamic machine control, however, we can now make changes needed in each area all on the same tool path. Let's look at how this can be done by activating this next tool path in which I have isolated just one area for easier viewing. We can again simulate the tool path and see that the tool path has a tool holder collision as well. If we then open up Dynamic Machine Control by right clicking on the tool, we can make tool axis adjustments as needed to the toolpath. Let's first select the toolpath segments we would like to change by using the Select Regions. And then saving them. We can then use the grab handles and adjust the tool to an angle that will safely machine the area. Note that the tool will turn red if the angle causes an interference with the part. Additionally, we can move the tool to different areas of the toolpath to verify everything is safe. Once the desired angle is set, we can then select Update Regions to update the toolpath. We can then repeat the process for the other side. Once we have finished with the axis changes, we can then select Accept. As we have changed the toolpath, we can then open the verification form to check the status of the toolpath and verify that it is safe. We can then run the simulation again to see our toolpath changes and the toolpath will cut safely as well. This last toolpath shows the complete operation with all the axis changes already applied. Running a simulation of it, you can see that for each area the tool axis changes to the position needed to safely machine. This new functionality for model area clearance reduces the time needed to generate safe toolpaths for roughing and rust roughing. Simplifying your part programming and letting you manufacture parts faster and safer.